In the news, there was massive jubilation on the streets of Abuja on Tuesday as the Supreme Court declared Senator Hope Uzodima governor-elect of Imo State. The nation's apex court ruled that March 19th governorship polls in Imo State was marred by unlawfully exclusion of votes from about 388 polling units, mandating that they should be added to the vote tally of Senator Uzodima. The unanimous decision by the Seven-man panel delivered by Justice Kudirat Kekere Ekun ordered that the Independent National Electoral Commission withdraw the certificate of return issued to Governor Emeka Hiedioha and issue a fresh certificate of return to Senator Uzo Dima on the grounds that he won the polls. Well, first and foremost, we want to return all glory and honor to the God Almighty that we are vindicated at the end of the day. From beginning to this end, has been that the case of Imo is very unique. It's different from all election petitions in Nigeria. Because whereas others were complaining about not holding of election of the various units, Imo's election petition was about exclusion of votes from 388 units. The total votes amounting to 1,695 votes. This has been the case. And we thank God Almighty today that the Supreme Court saw the point we are making. That it is not a complaint about units, but a complaint about collision of results. And that if the 213 votes, since 95 votes have been added, that it was hope who's the demand, who scored the highest number of votes, and how they require to not spread. The Supreme Court has so pronounced and we still God glory to God Almighty who made it happen. We want to say that the God of Imo State has spoken. Yes. This evening, distinguished Senator Pope Uzodima yes. has finally been declared the elected governor of Imo State. Yes. This is a story that has been in the communities in Imo State that Hope Uzodima won the election. Manipulations, we lost the election. But now, today, the Supreme Court has finally declared, has looked at all the issues and has declared Hope Uzodima the elected governor of Imo State. At this point in time, all we need to do is to thank Almighty God for restoring hope to Imo State, for restoring peace in Imo State. I believe all the anxieties in Imo State will go down because of this singular act of the Supreme Court of Nigeria.